the next speaker is uh, Becky Heaney, who's the organiser for Youth Fight for Jobs. Thank you. Thank you. Firstly, uh, Youth Fight for Jobs, just to explain for people who haven't heard of our campaign, it was um, a campaign that was sent, set up a few years ago uh, to campaign against youth unemployment, attacks to education and low pay and other attacks um, that young people um, suffer. Um, we're supported by um, national trade unions such as the PCS, the UCU, so we um, work with the trade unions closely and we just like to send full solidarity and support to all the um, workers on strike today to defend pensions, jobs and services. There's currently 200 million unemployed people in the world. 70 million of these are young people. In Spain, uh, where they have 45% youth unemployment, nearly half of their um, young people cannot find a job. They refer to themselves as the no-no generation, no job, no house. And across Europe, other young people are stuck in low-paid jobs, uh, receiving squeezed benefits, cuts to services, being priced out of education, but we are fighting back. We've seen across Europe, in Spain and Greece, young people on the streets refusing to accept the cutbacks that the governments are making. And in Britain, we've been doing the same. Just before Christmas, there was millions of students fighting back against the uh, massive attacks on tuition fees, the cutting of the EMA and um, other issues. <clears throat> And we're saying that there should be no to all cutbacks, no to mass youth unemployment, and for the right for young people to determine their own future. So this year, You Fight for Jobs is recreating the Jarrow March of 1936 in October. We'll be marching again from Jarrow to London to say to this government, 75 years after the original Jarrow March, we can still not have the decent right to a job. And what a failure of this system, what a failure of this government that it cannot provide something so basic to young people. The original, original Jarrow March, the marchers only got their one pound train fare to go back to Jarrow. And we're fighting for more. Together, linked up with the trade unions, we want to be um, having public meetings and protests in every town that we pass through on the way down to London and a mass demonstration in London involving young unemployed people, students, workers, pensioners, everybody together against this government. Because we can see that young people are being used on slave labour schemes, working for free to undermine what trade unions have won over the past decades. We are seeing young volunteers being brought into schools to do jobs while they're sacking teachers. We're seeing people being brought in on agency work with no rights, um, often being paid minimum wage to do the work that public sector workers were previously doing but being sacked. So we're saying uh, no to divisions between young people and workers. We want a united struggle um, all together. The other section of society that's also being hit hard by, by this government's cuts are women. The, it's the majority women that work in the public sector and particularly the pension reforms or the pension tax will have um, a negative effect on women. Young women suffer going into apprenticeships they earn 21% less than male um, people in, in apprenticeships who already earn a pitiful uh, wage for apprenticeships, often £2 an hour to work um, um, full time. And the government is also cut, cutting NHS services, benefits for single mothers, um, and uh, predominantly women who are losing low paid, um, insecure jobs. And Michael Gove, our good friend Michael Gove, Last, um, a few days ago, when he was condemning the teachers for coming out on strike, said the teachers' strike will cause massive inconvenience to hard-working families, particularly to hard-working women. There's no irony there from Michael Gove, that his attacks on the pensions would have a massive, massive inconvenience to hard-working people and hard-working women. So we need men and women, young and old, to come, and come together and refuse to pay for a crisis that we did not cause. 
So the next step needs to be after today that we all come out together, all of the public sector trade unions out together to show that we're not going to take um, these attacks. A new fight for jobs will be standing shoulder to shoulder with workers in action so together we can fight for a better society, run for the millions and not the millionaires. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, one of the things, as I said, there's uh, certain privileges from being on the stage. One of the things is that I can see uh, a number of banners uh, over to my right. Uh, one, says, uh, one is the University of Leicester, and the other one says, Knowledge is power, Democratic University, Unity is strength, UCU.